We're gonna be using coconut milk today. <laughs> hey, it's Lou, head of coffee out there. The days are getting longer, the sun's shining most of the time, so it's time to get our cold coffee game on. There are lots of options out there for caffeinated cold beverages, uh, from immersion cold brew to Japanese cold brew um, and beyond. Um, we'll discuss the difference in a bit more detail in future content. So today we're going to be using an immersion cold brew method, um, which is a nice, simple, easy way to brew cold coffee at home without needing too much more equipment. We're using the Canini Rwandan naturally processed coffee. Uh, now this coffee is available in our stores currently and also available to buy online if you just click the link. There'll be a link somewhere. <laughs> Which way will it be? Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, okay. The long heat-free immersion cold brew method will give us a coffee with a syrupy body, low acidity and mild sweetness. This recipe will give us around about 750ml of final coffee, which will make around about six drinks. So for this recipe, we're going to be using a ratio of one part coffee to eight parts water. And we're going to start with adding the coffee to the vessel we're going to be steeping in. We're going to be using 120 grams of coarsely ground coffee. So there's more information on um, grind size um, and how it will affect your brew. Check out the link in the description to our video um, about understanding grind size. So we're going to be using 120 grams of coarsely ground coffee. Um, as always, we suggest that you grind fresh just before you're about to brew with it. So I'm going to zero the scales and add 120 grams of my coffee into the container we're going to be steeping and brewing the coffee in. Brilliant. I'm going to turn the scales off and on again just to zero them before adding the water. The scales don't like a lot of weight. Sometimes it's best to turn them off and back on again. IT department. Cool, so pouring over, actually taking note of the time, pouring over one litre of cold filtered water. Whee. Oh gosh, just a couple of grams short. And then before I pop the lid on, I'm just going to give it a good old stir. Just making sure that all of the grinds are as wet as possible. We're going to pop the lid on. We want to use a sterile and airtight vessel for this. And I'm just going to, because I'm a bit forgetful, write down the time that I started and what coffee I put in in the vessel as well. I wouldn't normally be doing it this time of the day. And that's basically just going to be popped onto the side and left to brew for eight hours. Water is an important variable when brewing with coffee, whether it's cold brew or hot brewed. Uh, we're going to talk about this in a bit more detail in further content. Um, but um, what I recommend to start off with is use jug filtered water um, at least. Um, bad quality water can seriously impact the quality of your final cup. We'll pop that to the side. And here's one we brewed earlier. So after eight hours, what we need to do is remove the brewed coffee from the coffee grinds within. Um, it's not going to taste very nice with them in there. Um, what you can use, you don't need to buy a filter for this. Um, we're going to be using the V60 uh, with the filter paper because uh, we have it. But you can just use a sieve with um, something like a cheesecloth or even a kitchen towel to help just remove the coffee grinds. We're going to be using the V60 and we're just going to go into another vessel. I'll be popping it back into this one afterwards, once it's clean. Just gonna knock off any coffee grind from the top. I don't want to stir it up too much here. Put those to the side.
Okay, so we've removed our cold brew from our coffee grinds. I'm just going to pop it into a sterile um, and um, an airtight container um, and then it can stay in the fridge for up to seven days as long as you look after it properly. Pop it in. Pop the lid on. And again, I'm just going to put myself a little reminder. Throw. Out. Pretty sure I'll drink it by then though. Stop. So now our cold brew is ready to drink. Uh, we're going to show you three quick and easy recipes to get you started. First one for you is just short and straight up. Uh, you want to get yourself a, a shorter glass filled with ice. And we're just going to pour about 125 ml over the ice. So this one's nice for a short, intense drink um, and I like mine with a wedge of orange just to give it a bit of extra pizzazz. Recipe number two is long and diluted. So what we're going to do is, first of all, get some ice into the glass. We're then going to put about the same amount of cold brew as is in the shorter one. Measure it if you want to. You can just go straight for it. You can even spill it on the counter. And then we're just going to top it up with water, which will just dilute it a little bit and just make the whole beverage just a little bit um, less intense, um, a little bit easier to drink. A quick stir with my fancy spoon. There we go. So the last drink we're going to show you how to make is an iced latte. Um, we're going to fill the glass with ice and then you want to go for kind of a one-to-one -one ratio here really with this. So half fill with your milk of choice. And then add your cold brew. I'm sure you'll be better at pouring than I am. And there we go. Uh, we like coconut milk. Um, I find that it goes really well um, as an iced latte. Um, and yeah, prefer it to hot um, coconut milk personally. Uh, nice and refreshing for the sunshine. If you've enjoyed this video and want to hear more, like the video and subscribe to our channel and start the conversation in the comments. Let us know how the brewing goes. The end, I think. Yeah.